All right, buddies, I've gone viral again over the last few days. It's been a crazy, crazy few days. Uh, yeah, my head's spinning a bit. Uh, I was on Saturday Night Live. Well, I wasn't, but I was talked about on Saturday Night Live. They made a joke about me saying I was dead. Uh, I've been all over the biggest news uh, services in the world, and it's, uh, it's been totally nuts. Today was a really big day. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, I was on three different TV shows in Australia today and had news of people coming around to my house. So I'm going to show you the clips and I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes footage. Um, I was terrible at remembering to do all that though, so there's not a lot of it. Um, anyway, have a look at my crazy, weird day today and uh, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. All right, it's the morning of the 19th and I'm in Channel 7 Studios waiting to meet someone who's going to escort me. Lucy actually is going to escort me into where I'm going to do a live cross to Sydney to talk about my year. Been here once before. Anyway, it's cool just looking at that huge bank of TVs and all this stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to be on the Today show. I think it's called Today, Today with uh, Larry and Kylie. All right, I'm all hooked up in the studio waiting to do a cross. I got this uh, ear thin piece in. I'm listening to a, an infomercial. <laughs> and there's me on the bottom and there's this uh, power fit something. I don't really know what it is. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> anyway, that top TV, that'll be, that'll be where the studio is. And, uh, and obviously there's me on the bottom. And uh, yeah. Here we go, there's my background. Apparently I've got, I'm sitting in front of all of Melbourne City. <laughs> and uh, yeah, cool. Hey, if you could only eat one food, one type of food for an entire year, what would you choose? Melbourne man Andrew Taylor was battling a serious food addiction and decided enough was enough. He decided to eat nothing but potatoes for all of 2016. Andrew has kept to his word and the results have been pretty unbelievable. Andrew has lost more than 50 kilos, has no food cravings now and even says the spud diet relieved him of his depression. Now the year is over and Andrew plans to stick to his diet eating potatoes for the rest of his life. Oh. Yeah. Andrew joins us now from Melbourne. So Andrew, tell us why did you start this challenge in the first place? Uh, it was it was a food addiction issue, so I was uh, I was obsessed with food, and uh, it was it was taking up too much space in my life and in my mind, and it was uh, it was trouble. So I thought of uh, how if an alcoholic was to be treated, they would quit alcohol, and uh, you obviously can't quit food. So I thought of uh, I could quit everything except one food, then that would be close. So I thought I'd give it a try. The the results are quite incredible. Why potatoes? Why why did you choose that? Um, they had the most uh, weight of evidence behind them. There's a lot of uh, historical examples of the Irish, for example, lived the country <laughs> a couple of centuries with, uh, with only potatoes or close to it. There's examples of prisoners of war being fed only potatoes and remaining healthy and strong. And there's also uh, a lot of peer published peer-reviewed evidence to say that this was going to be a good idea. So what I find incredible is, especially coming from LA, no one eats carbs. You know, you're supposed to eat potatoes or bread or pasta. Um, surprisingly, you had so much weight loss eating just potatoes. So did you have anything else on them? I had a minimal amount of herbs and spices and maybe some tomato sauce or chilli sauce, but I really kept that very, very minimal. Uh, yeah, potatoes have got everything we need. They've got protein, they've got a small amount of fats, and they've got, uh, obviously everyone knows they've got carbs, but they've got a, all the different macro, oh, sorry, micronutrients we need, vitamins, minerals. Yeah, they've, they've really given me everything I need this year. I'm just trying to work out what your doctor would have said when you said, I'm just going to eat potatoes only forever. Not forever. I'm finishing on the 1st of January this year. I'm actually having a, a party to celebrate my first night potato meal. Um, but, yeah, he was. Uh, it's not something he would have recommended to me, but he was confident that I would be healthy and he was happy to uh, support me with blood tests and medical checkups and all that. So tell me this meal that you're going to have. I can just imagine for months you've been thinking that I can't wait to have. What is it that's going to be on this meal? Well, it's actually the funny thing is that I don't really miss any, uh, any kinds of food. So uh, there's nothing I particularly want. So 
It's going to be catered, uh, this party, so I've just said to the catering company to just uh, surprise me. No potatoes? <laughs> uh, I, think, I think I might give potatoes a miss for my first meal. <laughs> Mate, I'm only going to use this comparison because you did, and you were talking about the food addiction like, um, say, an alcoholic. Uh, yeah. Are you worried then that you step back in and your first meal is a pizza or a kebab or a pie and that you'll fall off that wagon? That's a fair question and really I'm not going to know until it happens. I've got no way to know until I experience that. But uh, for now I feel like my psychology around food is totally different to what it ever has been. And, uh, and I'm really not seeing food as a source of comfort or enjoyment or emotional support or those sorts of things like I used to. It's more of a, uh, I'm, I'm eating to live rather than living to eat and food is just a way to fill up the tank and power my day. So after this big celebration feast, what will your diet be like after that? Will you try and stick to mostly potatoes or will you try and have a balanced diet? What are you planning? Uh, I think I'll still eat a lot of potatoes. Potatoes have been really good to me this year, so I, I plan on definitely eating a lot of potatoes. But I'll be transitioning to uh, what's known as a whole foods plant-based diet, and that means uh, no meat, no cheese, no cream, no oils. Uh, and just uh, a healthy uh, diet of whole, unmodified plant foods. Andrew, it's that time of year we're all going, OK, we're going to go a little crazy in the next couple of weeks, but come January 1, we're all going to start up at the gym again, or at least take the membership again and probably yes. never go, <laughs> uh, and, and look into you know, that, that diet, that January 1 New Year's resolution. If, if people are looking at this going, thinking, I'll give that a crack for a little while, what do we need to know before we launch into a potato-only diet? Okay, well, first of all, I'd say get medical supervision. I think it's important just to make sure that you're healthy and everything's working well. Second is, uh, like I just said, no oils, no cheese, cream, bacon bits, any of that sort of stuff. And also, it's just to eat as much as you want. I don't, haven't done any sort of food restriction at all. I eat as much as I want whenever I want. I think that's important because when you allow yourself to go hungry, that's when you start making bad choices. Do you get, did you get really cranky though? A lot of people when they go on these strict diets, they either have, you know, they detox, they get really moody. Were you a pain to live with when you're on this diet? Well, no, I think that's because most people restrict their food intake and they, especially they restrict their carbohydrate intake and our brains run on carbohydrates. So I was obviously getting heaps of carbohydrates <laughs> and that kept me happy. <laughs> uh, talk, talk us just quickly the weight loss, the calendar. How, what, what sort of weight were you losing? Over, what sort of kilos over a week or a month? Oh, the first month I lost 10 kilos, second month another 10, and then it gradually just sort of leveled off. But I'm still losing weight, but uh, right now I've lost 52 kilos. So, But yeah, my weight loss has slowed down as I've gotten lighter. I've probably still got maybe another 5 or 10 kilos left to lose. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it, 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 does, it does look interesting. Not as interesting as my burger and ribs diet that I'm going to start <laughs> on January 1. But, hey, listen, thank you, mate. That's uh, super interesting. Spud Fit, thanks for joining us. Yeah, spudfit.com if anyone wants more info. Uh, All right, I've just finished the cross. It went well. I'm something else now. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was just filming a little something for my YouTube. Okay. <laughs> All right, better. Tell us again why you decided to eat nothing but potatoes for a year. Well, it was, a, it was a, my attempt to cure food addiction in the same, well not cure, but treat a food addiction in the same way an alcoholic would treat alcoholism and that's by quitting food. So, uh, yeah, I decided that you can't obviously quit food, so I'll quit everything except potatoes. And so far so good, only 12 days left. It's <laughs> amazing. We did a story with you at the start of your potato journey and the transformation's remarkable. How much weight have you lost? Yeah, 52 kilos so far, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, and my psychology around food is totally different too, so success all around. How many potatoes do you think you've eaten in a year? We just worked it out the other day, and it was uh, nearly 1.3 tonnes for the year. Gee whiz. <laughs> What's your first meal going to be, do you think, in January? It's actually this party that I'm having is catered, and you can come along if you want. Look at spudfit.com. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the caterer is just going to surprise me with something. We'll see what happens. Well, it's been a remarkable journey. You're certainly looking a lot better. What's the favourite, your favourite potato and the best way to eat it? Uh, well, this one's pretty good, just a plain white potato. And, uh, and at the moment, I'm going to make some boiled and then I'm going to mash them. So mash, a good old fashioned mash is the go for me. <laughs> well done on the, what's been a remarkable journey. Spuds, simple for 12 months. That's all Andrew's eaten and he's lost more than 50 kilos. Spud up. <laughs> Perfect. 
This TV guy's want Andrew's get his gear off. <laughs> Here he is. Still feels weird to be standing like this in front of cameras. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Even when it's my own camera, it is weird. A TV camera. <laughs> A Melbourne man who vowed to eat only potatoes for a year has almost completed his bizarre challenge. And with just 12 days of his diet remaining, Andrew Taylor says he feels fantastic, having lost an incredible 50 kilograms. It's the diet that's made headlines around the world. An Australian man who ate nothing but potatoes for an entire year has lost more than 100 pounds, no longer needs antidepressants, lowered his cholesterol, and is dead. <laughs> Despite the ribbing, Andrew says he's feeling fantastic. I feel better than ever. I'm, I'm fitter and healthier than I, than I can remember being. Andrew's physical transformation has been remarkable. I started at 151.7 kilos. And the last time I weighed myself, I was 99.7. A binge eater, Andrew began the diet to change his attitude towards food. Is it my attempt to cure food addiction in the same way, well not cure, but treat the food addiction in the same way an alcoholic would treat alcoholism, and that's by quitting food. So I quit everything except potatoes. Maybe once a fortnight I make something a little bit creative, but really I just eat mash or boil it or baked potatoes. This is 50 kilos of potatoes, which is the amount of weight Andrew has lost over the past 12 months. Remarkably, in that time, he has eaten 1,300 kilos of spuds. His spud sponsor is Spitting Chips. If you work it out on average of $4 a kilo, and he's eaten 1,300 kilo, probably around, yeah, probably around five grand. He'll end the diet with a breakfast party on New Year's Day. Michael Felgate, Seven News. But spuds for the past 354 days, Andrew Taylor doesn't feel famished. Almost 1,300 kilos for the year, so quite a lot of potatoes, well over a ton. <laughs> Subsisting solely on the root vegetable for every meal has led to a 52 kilogram weight loss. I feel better than ever, yeah, incredible. The 36-year-old embarked on the self-devised diet as a personal quest to break his food addiction. But the father of one has attracted international attention, even appearing on US primetime television. An Australian man who ate nothing but potatoes for an entire year has lost more than 100 pounds. The Dietitians Association of Australia says it is pleased he's still fighting fit but sticking to a single food could lead to deficiencies in nutrition and palatable pleasure. Food is so much more than the nutrients. It's about enjoying food and having a good relationship with food, and that's what dietitians consider to be really important, as well as nourishment. Andrew has been supervised by a doctor throughout his potato-only odyssey, and surprisingly, blood tests show he's healthier than ever. On New Year's Day, his family and friends will hold a public breakfast party at Elwood. He's not sure what to feast on to break the potato famine, but consuming all those carbs has been fun. It's been a, the craziest, most insane year of my life. Emily Rice, Nine News. Well, there you have it. All pretty good reports, I reckon. I was happy with the day. I'm happy with the coverage. Um, I'm happy with how that how attitudes have changed since the beginning of the year from me being some kind of crazy nut to uh, someone who has done something with success. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the reporting. I've always been happy with the reporters themselves, um, but yeah, they're just the attitudes of other experts. And we've had another one actually, Lisa Wren. Come on, Lisa. Why are you answering questions that you don't know about? Just. Uh, Again, another one saying, oh, but nutrient deficiencies. Well, what? I'm nearly a year in. What nutrient deficiencies are going to pop up in the last 12 days, Lisa Wren? And also, yes, I agree. I've said this before in other videos, but yes, I agree. Food should be enjoyable. Pal I'm going to have a palate. You've <laughs> diagnosed me with a palatable pleasure deficiency, apparently. It's something I've never heard of. But uh, anyway, we'll see. Food, yes, it should be enjoyable and pleasurable, I agree. But what if it's not? What if, despite all of your efforts over 15, 20 years, your food causes you more pain than it does pleasure? Then what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, here I am trying to find a way to be able to enjoy food and without 
and get rid of the pain side of it. And I don't know. I just feel like Lisa Randy just commenting on something you don't know about. I can talk more about that another time. Though. Let's not waste time on on uh, negativity when it's been a really positive day. It's been a, it's been a big day, a busy day. I'm tired. It's the, it's late at night, and I'm trying to put this YouTube video together. But cool day. I'm happy with it. Um, there you go. So. As the news report said, I'd love it if you can make it to my party. There's a link below. Come and uh, party with me at breakfast time on the 1st of January and share my first meal with me. That'd be really, really cool. There's still uh, plenty of tickets left and I need to know numbers for catering by the 25th of December, Christmas Day. So there's only a few days left. Uh, so if you're thinking about coming, please uh, get in and buy a ticket and, uh, and help, me, help me out. I'm not making any money from any of this, by the way. It's just we need to cover the cost of catering and the venue hire. So, yeah, if you want to help me celebrate, then do it. Um, and anyway, apart from that, thanks for your support from everyone around the world who, whether you can or can't make it, thanks everyone. It's been a fun time.